It happened again, isn't it? You had many winning trades. And the problem, this was small winning trades. And boom, one trade wipes out all your gains. Then you go on a revenge trade trying to make back your losses, only to blow up your account. Hey guys, I understand the issues you guys are facing because that was something I struggled with in my earlier days. And that is why in today's video, I'm going to share with you what you should do if your trading losses are larger than your profits. I'm going to show you how to pinpoint the exact problem with your approach to trading so that you can go fix it. Now many times, traders are not sure if it's their trading strategy that is the issue or it's their execution of the strategy. So what happens is they hop from strategy to strategy when really it's their execution that is the problem. And if execution is the problem, then it doesn't matter whether you are using a super profitable strategy or not, because you're going to screw it up with your execution anyways. This is why it is so important to be able to understand what is the real reason why your trading losses are larger than your winners. In this video, I will provide you with two matrix that will instantly tell you what the issue is. And if both of these matrix are good, then it's likely that you do not have an execution problem, but rather a strategy problem. And that's a good thing because strategy problem is very easy to fix. You can check out some of the trading strategy videos on this channel and you're good to go. But hey, if it's an execution problem, which I believe most of you fall under, then there's a lot of work to be done. Now towards the end of this video, I will also show you how you can get both matrix computed for free, so you don't have to calculate it on your own. I know it's a painful process to study your losses and let's face it, you're probably not going to do this if I don't show you the easy way to calculate them. So the least I ask of you is to stick to the end of this video and get the tool that will help you compute the two matrix. I know it's going to help you so much, so really be sure to stick around till the end. So before I go into the first matrix, please do me a small favor and hit that thumbs up button. If you are new, subscribe to the channel as well because we have many valuable trading tutorial videos like this. We also do a giveaway worth $37 and if you wish to participate, then look for an emoji somewhere in this video. You can also find the full instructions in a pinned comment down below as well. Now moving on, let's talk about the first matrix, the percent loss per trade. This is by far the easiest way to tell if it's an execution problem or a strategy problem. Pull out your trading records and have a look at your losses. Are your losses consistent or are your losses very haphazard? You might have a series of losses of 1% and then suddenly a big loss of 7% and then another big loss of 3%. Now if you see this, then your issue is risk management. In fact, you can also tell if your strategy is somewhat workable just by looking at your winners and losers. To illustrate this, I have a series of winners and losers here. You can see that the number of winning trades are quite a lot. But after a series of 3 losing trades, the loss gets out of control. Now if we were to remove these big losses, suddenly this trading strategy is making money. Now of course this is just an example and I deliberately pluck out the wins and losses out of thin air. But I think you should get the idea of how to determine if your strategy is actually profitable or not. Just look at your average risk per trade and see if there's a tendency for you to overtrade. If your average loss per trade is consistent, then you have a strategy problem, which as I mentioned at the start of this video, is pretty easy to fix. But if you see that your loss per trade isn't consistent, then you have to work on being disciplined and managing your risk better. In this case, a profitable trading strategy will not turn you into a profitable trader 
because the underlying issue is execution, not strategy. So the percent loss per trade tells you whether it's your execution or your strategy. But what if you want to know whether you are closing off your trades too early and taking profits too soon? And perhaps that's the reason why your losses are greater than your winners. Well, the second metric that I'll be sharing next will help you to do that. So keep watching. The second metric is actually the average holding period. The average holding period tells you how long on average do you hold a trade for. And for this metric, we need to segment it into average holding period of winners and average holding period of losers. Now you probably heard the saying before, write your winners, cut your losses. You heard it over and over again and I feel like a naggy person just repeating this same mantra. But here's a different perspective of interpreting what this means. Writing your winners essentially means that you have to hold your trades and cutting your losses means that you have to close your trades fast. So what this really means is that your average holding time for a winner should surpass that of a loser. Right here as an example, suppose that you pull out your historical trading record and start computing your average holding period for the winners and losers. If you see that your average holding period for your winners is about 5 minutes but your average holding period of your losers is about 2 hours, then you know for a fact that you are closing off your trades too early and taking profits too soon. Why? Because relative to your losses, you are holding your winners for only 1 over 25 of what you usually do for your losses. And this is actually cutting your winners and riding your losses. The opposite of the mantra of riding your winners and cutting your losses. Now, if you see that your average duration for your winners are longer than the duration of your losses and you still lose money, then there's only two possible explanations. Number one is that you didn't lock in your profits in time and you give back majority of your profits. Thus, your average holding duration is long but your profits isn't big enough to cover your losses. Or number two is that you didn't manage your risk well. Your winners are small because of the small position size while your losers are big because you over traded. This second scenario goes back to the first matrix which is the percent loss per trade. So if you study your own results using that matrix, you should have already come to that conclusion anyways. Now before I end off this video, I want to show you how you can get these two matrix easily head over to myfxbook.com and connect their interface to your brokerage account. There are a couple of ways to do it and you can just follow the instructions. It's rather easy so I won't touch on it. But once you set it up, you will be able to see the duration of your trades as well as the average loss. But remember, the matrix deals with the percent loss per trade and whether your loss per trade is consistent you will not get this value from an average loss since it lumps all the losing trades together. Thus, you will still need to pull out your historical trades and study if your losses follow a consistent pattern or a haphazard pattern. Now, if you are a little confused about what I just said, please rewatch the first matrix because this is very important. And that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you find that you are struggling because you don't have a profitable trading strategy, then check out this trading strategy that I've previously uploaded at the end screen over here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.